Hello Rochelle, I just wanted to go over this Bannerize, WP Bannerize plugin that I installed and how it works. So we would go down here and click Add New. And let's say that we were going to put some Google AdSense like uh, in, the, in the banner and we want it in the sidebar. Well, we'll go free HTML and then paste the code in there. If you wanted it to have the start date, you could give it a start date. Of course, if you did not want it to have a start date, then you could just end it at it. Uh, just, just leave it blank like it says there. You can give it a group name. Now, I'm going to give this a group name of header. And uh, the reason why uh, I'll explain that in a little bit here. Um, then you could give it a description. Uh, this is a test. And you can use that description in the output or not. And then you could give it a URL, but since this is already a code with a URL installed, you can just leave it as is. And then, of course, you could have a open it as a you know a blank parent self or top window. And then also, you could give this max impressions, and this is going to work good for whenever people are paying to advertise on your site because you can get you could give them sell by the impressions, maybe fifty thousand or a hundred thousand impressions, however you feel uh, you want to sell them or divide them up, and then you can add a no follow attribute, you know, uh, and I would encourage that especially if it's a Google ad client because Google's always already keeping track of the uh, the analytics on that so we'll go ahead and click insert and then uh, I'm gonna add a couple more I'm gonna put the video on hold I'm gonna add a couple more and then so, then I'm gonna show you some other things about it. okay this next ad here I'm gonna use a file on my local machine We'll just call it, uh, I'll go ahead and grab a banner that I use sometimes, A1 Website Pro. Uh, we'll give it, you know, we'll just leave this, the date out. And we'll also call this header as well. There's actually a drop down here. You can select header from it. And we'll call this Web Development. And then, of course, my URL, uh, Max Impressions. Now, I want some SEO from this. so I'm go or, or maybe you're going to attribute some SEO. So we want the link to follow. So then that way we get credit for the link. Sometimes in uh, banners, when banners are being displayed on websites, uh, they'll, they'll give it a nofollow link, especially if they don't want to be associated with the website that they're linking to. For instance, the Google AdSense. Maybe it's going to a competitor or something. So that's how that all works out. Okay, I have three ads in here now. If you go over here and click the edit, uh, you'll see a screen appear that shows each one of the ads that you have created. We see this one here is a Google AdSense. That little script thing there shows that it's a script. And then if you wanted to add a new, of course, this would be the, uh, the, the link to add new. Let's go to settings and review the settings here. It says here turn on click counter so we can keep track of how many times the ad was clicked. Uh, you can turn on impressions so we can keep track of how many impressions. Uh, you can turn on the link description to make sure to see if it's display to let it display or not. And then you can have uh, you can support this by uh, WP Banner Eyes by giving them a link. If you do not wish to for it to show, you would unclick it. Um, you can have custom rules or default rules. The default rules are vertical in line is side by side. But we're going to go ahead and click update here and save our progress. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to review tools and this is we're going to edit the header. Now we want the images to show up random one at a time. We don't want it, all three of them to show up at the same time. So we're going to have random and we're going to limit it to one image at a time so that they alternate. Now here if we wanted the uh, ad to just show in one category you would click that category but since we want them to show in all particularly for this demonstration we're just gonna leave them all unchecked and you'll notice that there's a little uh, code down here and as we make the selections up here 
like let's say I want to click wine cellar you'll see that the code will change down here let me unselect it but this is the code that we need to insert into the header sidebar or wherever or wherever we want that the banner to appear so if we go to your site and we see that this banner up here you know that uh, we inserted let's say that we wanted to put it right underneath there at the top we would go to over here we would go to appearance editor and then we would scroll down we would hit header over here and scroll down to where I put that code before okay right here this is where I put your little Google ads in there that's your little menu thing and now I'm going to go ahead and paste this bannerize function in here and update the file and show you how it works here. Let's go ahead and refresh. And you see, here's the little Google ad. And we're only limited to one. Let's go ahead and refresh this a couple times. See if it changes around. That's still the uh, Google ad. Okay, then you see that there's my ad. So this is this is kind of like a better way to do it than than up here because your ads you have more control of your ads uh, whenever you're you're making them down here in the banner eyes because you could go here and just say okay well I don't want to show these ads anymore and you could trash them all at the same time. The other thing I could point out to you here is here's your stats over here. Uh, how many times it was displayed and then how many times uh, w w what's the click-through rate how many people here here are the clicks the people that actually clicks and here's the click-through rate so and this particular one here the advertise just goes to a page within your website too so anyway let me know where you want these little things to display or if you just want me to replace all of these on the sidebar going down as well as uh, at the top here with these ads and of course we you know we we can make them so that they're a certain height and width so they match in the site better I know that you're concerned with the uh, the room on the site utilizing it better and so I'm getting ready to, to to do that as you can see I haven't started on it yet but I'm going to make it like you wanted in the mock-up there so uh, let me know where you want these ads and uh, you know how you want them placed and then that way whenever people start paying for advertising space you'll be able to put them where they need to be one more thing that I wanted to mention before I, I end this video is that right here where it says no banner to display you can also put an HTML code there that would reflect like maybe your little ads that are up here ads by Google but right now it says no banner to display but it'd be a lot better that if you just had a Google code in there so that if there are no advertisers on the site at that particular point in time you can always utilize your Google AdSense so uh, let me know what you want to do and I'll make sure that I get it done as soon as possible